Downton Abbey A New Era leaves viewers with several questions. How is Mary dealing with her new title being the captain of Downton now? How are the Crawleys dealing with the death of Lady Violet? Will Lady Mary stay with Henry? Here are some surprising theories about Downton Abbey 3, its cast, plot, and the possibility of viewers losing yet another fan favorite character in the future. Just a fair warning, spoilers for Downton Abbey, a new era ahead. Shortly after the premiere of A New Era, heartbroken fans all over the world were asking the same question. Will there be a Downton Abbey 3? With two really successful and popular continuations to the series, there must be a third part as well, right? The sequel to the 2019 Downton Abbey movie brings back the person we should all send thank you cards to for creating such a masterpiece, series creator Julian Fellows. He is joined by the perfectly chosen and familiar cast ensemble from the series, although there were some minor departures. The Downton universe expanded after six hit TV seasons were broadcast on ITV in the UK and Masterpiece PBS in the United States. Let's do a quick recap of the second film before we get into details regarding the plot for the potential third installment, shall we? As the trailer for the film promised, the film starts off with Lady Violet, a character played by the iconic Dame Maggie Smith, telling her beloved family members that she inherited a villa in the south of France. Following the big reveal, some of the Crawley family members traveled to the Riviera to discover as much as possible about Lady Violet's past. Lady Mary, portrayed by the amazingly talented Michelle Dockery, stays at home in order to keep an eye on a film crew that comes to film a movie at the breathtaking estate. The film stars are the new faces that join Downton. Myrna Dalgleish, played by Laura Haddock, and Guy Dexter, portrayed by Dominic West. The movie's director, Jack Barber, played by Hugh Dancy, forms a close relationship with Lady Mary. Where is her husband, you might ask? Well, Mary's husband is off enjoying his hobby of racing sports cars. I said this in some of our previous videos, and I'll say it again. The sequel covered so many storylines while bringing 30 characters back to our screen that it feels like more happened in this film than in the entire series. As Julian Fellows promised, this is the project in which the Crawleys will enter the modern world of the 1930s. A new era had more meanings, of course, as the Crawleys enter a period in which they will no longer get help from the fan favorite Lady Violet. The sad news is that the third film is yet to be given a green light, which only makes us wonder whether we'll ever see another continuation at all. Shortly after the premiere of the second installment, Fellows said that, quote, if audiences want more and the cast wants to do more, then I'm sure we'll find a way of delivering more via Sky. So guys, do you want another film? If yes, make sure you let Fellows know by talking about it. If the film gets a green light soon, we should expect to see it sometime in the beginning of 2024, at the earliest. But is the entire cast on board for the potential Downton 3? Well, not really. I mean, the answer's a bit complicated. One person who won't return is Dame Maggie Smith, since her character died at the end of the sequel. Fellows promised a poignant death, and we got one. However, the actress could return to reprise her role through flashbacks. We got so scared for Cora in the sequel, but thankfully, it turned out that she only got a health scare, and she's more than fine now, meaning that Elizabeth McGovern would return alongside Hugh Bonneville as her husband, Robert Crawley. Michelle Dockery would have to come back as Lady Mary Talbot because she is now the new captain of the estate. This also means that another film won't go without Lady Edith, a character played by Laura Carmichael. We would love to see Samantha Bond back as Lady Rosamund Painswick, Alan Leach as Tom Branson, and Tuppence Middleton as Lucy Branson. Since Tom and Lucy are now married and had a baby by the end of the sequel, we expect to see their baby as well. According to Fellows, you need to smash that like button if you haven't done it already. <laughs> One cast member we're not sure would love to come back is Matthew Good. The actor had a short cameo in the first film and didn't appear at all in the second. He listed scheduling conflicts as the reason for his departure, and we really feel like the actor just doesn't want to star in the series anymore. 
If he doesn't return for the third film, maybe the film could focus on his failing marriage with Lady Mary while she struggles to lead the estate. What do you guys think? What do you think the ideal story for Downton 3 would be? In the meantime, let's see what Hugh Bonneville thinks about this, shall we? Hugh Bonneville decided to share his own ideas for the plot of Downton 3, and we really wish Fellows doesn't consider some of his ideas because they're, uh, a bit tragic. Before we get into what Bonneville thinks, we should mention that a Downton film wouldn't be successful if the creator doesn't gather the whole cast, because after all, the perfectly chosen cast ensemble is a huge part of Downton's success and popularity. In an interview with Screen Rant, Bonneville gave his own opinion about the third film, and we need to warn you that some of his ideas might surprise you and break your heart. The actor played the head of the Crawley family, Robert Crawley, ever since the very beginning, and sadly, he thinks that a third film seems very unlikely. Quote, This is a fictional world, because I don't think there would be another one. I was thinking for a while that there would be. We're all up for it, and let's go. But I think it's probably run its course now. And it's been a fantastic 12 years on and off that we've visited this family. But I think probably enough is enough. If the universe keeps expanding, the actor thinks that, quote, on the basis that each of the last few iterations has been roughly taking place in a year or during a year, we'd be in 1929. What happens then? It's the Wall Street crash, and the gaiety of the 20s is going to come crashing to a halt. So it'd be pretty potentially pretty gloomy. I don't know. And as far as Robert? Well, he's gonna die. So a good death would be good. That's sad. That's really sad. But just like Netflix is the crown, the Downton universe will also get in some dark years if the franchise gets another part, of course. Since this show often includes events that happened in the real world, such as the sinking of the Titanic and World War I, the next film would cover much darker times, with the Crawleys struggling to perhaps keep their estate. Lady, stop that noise. I can't hear myself die. I once mentioned that maybe it's time for the franchise to continue with the new generation. Watching Lady Mary facing a difficult period while trying her best to lead the estate sounds like a good idea for a plot, don't you agree? In the series, the family dealt with financial issues at least a couple of times, but the economic crash of the 1930s would be a more serious issue to overcome. Bonneville talked about his character dying because of the timeline in the franchise, but we think that the character is far from a natural death, and he could easily do another film with the timeline making sense. We just don't want to see a sudden death like those of Matthew, Dan Stevens, and Sybil, Jessica Brown Finlay. Dear fellows, please don't make us go through the same thing again. But one thing we do know for sure is that you need to smash the subscribe button and notification bell so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. <laughs> Got another one in there. Now, seriously, a new era left us without Robert's mother, and we're still not ready to say goodbye to the son. Do you think Downton deserves to go beyond this third installment? Because we do. See you in the next video!